Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Lauren LaRose is our special guest co host. Yes, indeed. Now, if you're just joining us, we're talking about taking your wife's last name. Now, this story comes from where, Lauren? So, this story comes um, from the NFL star uh, Ricky Williams. Former um, NFL star. Former NFL star. Yep. Um, he decided to legally change his last name to his, wife, his wife's last name. And he said that this is something that he had been thinking about for some time now. And it actually done, but hadn't like mentioned it. And as to why, he said he did it because he wanted to create more balance in his marriage. His wife is a very uh, established and successful attorney, he says, but mm-hmm. he often gets more attention due to his NFL career. So he thought that this would, you know, help to create the balance. It's something that he um, considered after taking an astrology relationship class, I guess. Okay. See, I told you all signs matter. All right. So the question is 800-585-1051. Uh, would you take your wife's last name? Now, Charlemagne, you said you would hyphen the name. Yeah, I would hyphen it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I wouldn't change it com- completely. You know, um, I have four daughters, and I want my daughters to keep our last name because, you know, I-, I don't have any sons, so I want it to be hyphenated. That's how my wife's name is. My wife's name is her last name and my, la- my last name because her-, her father don't have no sons. So, yeah, to keep the, to keep the last name alive, I would, I would do the hyphenate thing. Mm-hmm. But... um. Yeah, I wouldn't change my name completely. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. My 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 lineage and my ancestors matter too. I wouldn't change my name completely. Yeah, no, I wouldn't change mine at all. I'm an only child, and um, my wife has two brothers, so yeah, no, I wouldn't change mine. Um, Lauren, would you want your husband to uh change his name to your name? No, I want to take his last name. You want to take his last name? I just, I don't know. I just feel like I'm just. Tra- it's so weird because I'm not traditional at all. But that is, just, I don't know. It's just something you look forward to as like a woman. Like mm-hmm. for what well, for me anyway, not for all women. For me, but I thought it was interesting too. He said that he didn't really care about the change either because the last name was Williams is not even his real last name. The guy I guess that was married to his grandmother that took care of the family mm-hmm. isn't his real, uh, like isn't like isn't his biological dad. So. Mm-hmm. That changes it too because the lineage is not really even there because it's not as that. And I wonder where it shifted for us too. Because remember, it was a time where you know, uh, especially if you study like you know Islam or the five percent teachers of Islam, you know, the last name was a slave name, so that's why people would you know change their name to X or uh, mm-hmm. Muhammad or uh, mm-hmm. you know Farrakhan. So I wonder where 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 we got to the point where we was like, nah, we're gonna represent our last names, even if they are you know from yeah, our slave owners. Because I, Casey, I don't think it came from. From black name Casey or McKelvey. Like a, a, yeah. No, duh. Those are. First, <laughs> yeah. I'm saying, like, you just <laughs> clear, clearly, clearly, that was our slave owner names. But Absolutely. I'm just saying, I wonder when we started to claim those and say, nah, this is our last name. I kind of feel when like people got woke. I don't know if it was when people got woke. I think, I, I think when Dame Dash would say, uh, "Hustle for your last name, mm. not your first. Mm. You know, like, like that matters. That and that is our names. You right. know, at, at 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 the end of the day. So, so like I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change my last name. But you never know what you'll do if you're. If your woman asks you to do it, but if you want balance, like Ricky Williams said, you don't change your name. He said it created more intimacy and everything mm-hmm. in that relationship. So uh, you, you put the you put the hyphen. Mm-hmm. You have both names. Mm-hmm. But I asked a couple of uh, the men behind the scenes, and I asked them if they would do it, and they said no. But then I said if it was somebody that was financially secure, like an Oprah Winfrey or one of those, would they change the name? And they all said yes. I hate that for y'all because even if she wasn't financially secure, if you love her, and that's what would make. I'm just telling you don't what they told me. Don't get me started. You know they said I hate men, so don't get me started. You do. You do. Okay. Hello, who's this? <laughs> hey, good morning. How are you? How, how you doing? I'm good. This is Dr. Brian Thomas. Good morning. Good morning. Please would you change. change your last name to your wife's last name? Yeah, I would. I don't see a problem with that. I don't see an issue with it because, I mean, this is like Charlotte Mane said. He doesn't have any daughters, and everybody wants a legacy. I don't have a problem with that at all. I mean, I don't think it's, it's fair that, you know, it's an automatic thing that the woman gets to take my last name. I mean, which one with having it, you know, the other way around? It should be okay. So, hold on, you you would change it completely? Yeah, what's, I mean, what's the big deal? Yeah, my last name is Brian Thomas Kardashian. Absolutely. What's the <laughs> yeah, I'm a Pinkett <laughs> Smith Winfrey Knowles okay. Carter, Thank so you, I sir. understand. Brad. Hello? Hello? Hey, Brad. Uh, yeah, I was saying, um... Man, that I know you ain't calling us from the toilet, man. Ever asked me to. You calling us from the toilet? Because to, there's only like, hey, uh, no. <laughs> Why you sound like that? Uh, Bluetooth, I guess. Okay, all right, continue. I'm so, sorry. so you would change your, your your last name to your wife's last name? 
I would be down, not that she'd ever ask that, but because her last name is so unique that there's only like a handful of people that have it in all of the U.S. What's her last name? I kind of don't want to say it. <laughs> it's not bad or anything like that, just, you know. What is and it, bro? You don't want to put her out there. I understand that, Then why that, call brother? and say it's unique? You're not going to tell us what the unique name is. Well, because of the unique perspective. You know what I'm saying? Like, the the fact that most guys wouldn't have to worry about that because a lot of people have common last names and hers isn't. But because it's not common, okay. I don't want to put her out there. Got you. All right. Have a good one. All right. Y'all too. That would have been so much better if he just said the name. Just said the name. Hello, who's this? This is Greg. Hey, Greg, would you change your last name to your wife's last name, Greg? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I uh, I grew up in a, in a household where uh, family dynamic wasn't really a family dynamic. You know, my, my father wasn't around for real, so my family, my last name really don't mean that deep, family rooted thing so if if I was with somebody and I wanted to get married to her and I felt like she was uh, bringing me into a family where they was embracing me into the family and it was a real family dynamic and we like we holding each other down I would do it in a heartbeat absolutely okay hello who's this yo uh, T from Houston how you doing T from Ace Town now would you change your last name to your wife's last name man hell no <laughs> Why not? Man, because, you know, I'm a, I have a strong religious background, man. And it not only is it our honor, it's our assignment to lead our household. And we're supposed to make honest, honest women, you know, out of these, out of these women out here. And I want my wife and my son to carry my last name so that I can take this last name and, and move it into the future. And, Make it a respectful last name, and I just feel like we live in a more feminist moving society now, and we need to get back to being more masculine and being men, a standard of respect and whatnot. And we can't do that taking taking our women last name. Hey boy, if, if if taking a woman's last name makes you less of a man, and you never was a real man to begin with, what the hell are you talking about? I'm glad you said it because if I said it, I hate men. <laughs> like I don't hate not. I don't. I don't have nothing that, against you, but everything you just said sounds like you got some stuff to deal with. Yeah, that logic don't even add up. No, no, I I absolutely don't have anything to deal with. I'm in therapy dealing with it all. But is 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 your wife, uh, Charlemagne? Is your wife's last name? Your last name, or do you have your wife's last name? She she has she has both. I don't I don't have her last name, but her last name is both because she was the only girl, and so she wants to still honor her father. And I hope that my daughters do the same because I got four daughters. So I hope that they keep our last name, but then they can add on, you know, whatever the last name is to the person that they choose to marry. I understand that, but what would you think of the man that walks into your house and saying, "Okay, I'm okay with taking my daughter, your daughter's last name." I would I would want to take our last name too because if I do this thing right, then I'm breaking a whole bunch of generational curses, and that last name gonna to continue to be popping for, for for centuries to come. So yeah, I would hope I, I would hope I create the kind of last name that a man wants to take my daughter's last name. Yeah, I understand that. What I'm saying is, if if your daughters bring bring a guy home, and you had that conversation with them, and he's like, man, look, I know where you're at, and you. You would you would respect him if he's like, okay, I'll take your your daughter's last name. Yes, and I'm gonna tell you something else, and I'm just throwing this out there. Do you think at some point in time there wasn't a man who married some woman in the Rockefellers and said, I would love to have the Rockefeller last name? <laughs> Absolutely, I, I would love to say I'm a Rockefeller. It just depends on the situation. I like I'm not looking at a man any different because he chooses to do that. Why wow, Ricky Williams catching flack for this or something? Yes. Yeah, of course. You know he is. Who from he the nigga net? Yes. Because, yes, because, from the nigga net. because right. so many men feel like it's little things like the last name, and I get, I understand like tradition and all that. That's why I would want to take my mm -hmm. husband's last name. But if if it were to go the other way around, it shouldn't change how you lead this household, how any no, anything changes. like that. That's if you name, a man and that's what you do, you do that regardless if I got your last name or not. Well, let's talk. 800-585-1051. We'll take some more calls. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. If you're just joining us, we're talking about Ricky Williams. He's a former NFL player, 
Uh, he came out that he was taking his wife's last name and people are giving him flack about it. So we're just asking 800 585 1051. Would you do it? Quentin, what up? What's up, man? What's up? Would you take your wife's last name? Nah, man. That, 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 that ain't no manly duty right there. Last name. Man, that was she married. You gotta be the man of the relationship. You're not the man if you the name is not you. If if she doesn't take your last name, like aren't you still the man? No, I'm not taking her name. Now she if she got a bunch of money, I will take her name. Yo, shut up, name. man. It's so crazy shut to me up. how. Hey, can I can I can I say it's it, it's so, it's funny to me, uh, Lauren, when people say you're not a man if you take the woman's last name. But, but if she the got woman, some money, if the woman got money, it's okay to take. That makes but you it, a bird oh, brain. But it, but you it, a bird. Th- but if I sat up here and say anything about a man with money and what I would do because the man got money, I am like, I have no morals. I'm they call you a bird. You, oh you, my you, god! By the way, all, for all guys who say that, hey, if the girl got money, I'll take her last name. You a city girl? Definitely a, you city, a city girl. girl. But y'all mad when we bumping city girls and the sexy reds and see, I'm just I don't hate nobody. I'm just calling out double standards all the time. Y'all be mad at me. Amazing. You know what up, what up? Now, now you, it says that your wife wants you to do that right now. Take her last name. Not my wife, my fiance. We probably in the process of getting married. Okay. Yeah, she wants to change the narrative. She wants me to take her last name. But I'm pretty old school, man. I'm I'm not for that. But I do get her. I do get her point of view. So her father was a single father. Mm-hmm. So her last name would die out with her because he only had two girls. So I do understand her point of view, but I can't do that, man. Why, why doesn't she walk around my wife? Why does Why doesn't she just hyphenate her last name? And then when y'all have yeah, kids, man, also, I, I, ain't, I, I ain't for that hyphenating. Shit. No, I, I'm not. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying you have to. I'm saying why doesn't she hyphenate? You know, y'all last names, and then when y'all have kids, the kids have the hyphenated last name. She wants to hyphenate it, but I don't see the purpose of hyphenating. Well, who has two last names? It's like walking around with two first names. That's not true. People have two last names, especially if they fly. Yeah, a lot of people have if, two if you, if you, I, mean, I, know they, I know they have two last names, but I mean, come on, we can't marry. I mean, like I said, I'm old school. I see my grandfather do it. My grandmother took two last names. Y'all got kids? My no, not yet, not yet. Yeah, I hope you have all <laughs> girls. <laughs> Damn, I hope you have all girls. That's not a bad thing, though. I hope you have all girls. So when those girls get married to another guy, you'll understand why it's important to hyphenate the last name. Ain't nothing ain't wrong with all girls. Nothing wrong with all girls. You might lose that last name, though. What's that? You might lose that last name because if they get married and want to stay traditional and take their man's last name, like they're, you right. know, the household yeah, they're raised in with their I know, father. I, that's something that's uh, going to have to be decided when they get married. Oh, my God. But you can Thank just you change so. tradition now, you idiot. KP, <laughs> like, what's, what's wrong with people, man? Change tradition now. KP, yeah, what's up, KP? Would you take your wife's last name? Um, uh, it depends on which name adds more value to the family, man. Okay. Like, um, traditionally, the man's last name is gonna be worth more than the wife's last name, whatever the case is. But you know, if like you pointed out, if Oprah Winfrey wants me to take her last name. The Winfrey last name means more than the Pierce last name. So, you're like, a, hey, you're let's carry that legacy off. What's the you're tradition? And, and, and then also, uh, you know, if, like, for instance, Ricky Williams last name carry a whole bunch of weight as far as, like, his daddy left him with emotional trauma and stuff like that, he might not want to leave that legacy to his kids. So he might want to, you know, add the value of the wife's family name on. So, uh, me personally, I, my wife got my last name, but if hers would have been worth more than mine, I would have been a hawk. <laughs> What's the traditional rule that says that the man's last name carries more weight than the woman's? What Did I the, miss that rule? The traditional rule, is, what I'm saying is traditional. Whenever we go back to old school marriages and stuff, you know, the man brought something to the table and said, hey, I'm adding value to this. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying there's a rule, but I'm saying traditionally that's why the man's last name was taken because you're saying, hey, I'm bringing your daughter over here and joining her to this family, and, you know, this family is adding value to you. Okay. All right. All right, brother. Well, what's the moral of the story, guys? I mean, the moral of the story is you got to do what works for you. You know I mean? I already told y'all. I got I got three, four beautiful daughters, so, you know, I I, I, I want them to, you know, hyphenate their last names when they choose to get married a long, 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 long time from now. Cause I want my name, 
my last name to continue to live on, you know? And I think most fathers who have daughters want that. Okay. My wife, that's what my wife did. So mm-hmm. I don't have a problem with that. As far as changing my last name completely, no. I want to honor my family just like, you know, that person wants their family honored. All right. Well, we got rumors on the way. What are we talking about? Yes, we are going to go back to the Pink Friday 2 conversation. I know we talked about it here before, but it's broken records. And, like, the first couple of records was in the first, like, 48 hours. So wow. Charlamagne got some explaining to do. All right. We'll get to that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.